to me, what I expected was, is what I saw, um, which is a good thing, too. So we give them a lot of film for Coach Clark to um, give them to, to do things that they have to get better at. Um, you know, so we'll get better this week, though. We'll be all right. I know that you're being patient, but can you give a quick assessment of Colin? Colin's doing good. I mean, Colin, um, I think every rep he takes, he's getting, you know, better. Um, he's a confident kid. The thing I like about him, the thing I was surprised about him is how athletic he is. But he can he can run good enough to make things happen. You know, so if it's not there for us, he'll be able to get us a first down with his feet also, too. Did that flurry of snow change the what you're trying to do at all as far as passing? No, Just, no, we wanted to concentrate on the run today. You know, we said going into it that it was going to be about 60-40, you know, run the pass. So it kind of helped it a little bit, make us try to run it a little bit more. Except to see all four seasons in one Yeah, exactly. One hour. Yeah. <laughs> and this is, this is normal, you know, here. I remember when I was back playing, we had a couple of those. We added rain, though, a couple of times in there. And then it snowed, and then it was sunny. So it was normal. I didn't expect it. Yeah. I didn't expect it to come down like that. I'm from Ohio, so, you know, it's, it's kind of easy. I mean, this this like high school playoff weather to me. All, all the Florida boys, though, they ain't like it. They ain't really, but I'm, I'm used to it, though. But that's, those are the things that we talk to our kids about, the adversity that you can't control. But it was interesting to see when that started happening, you know, one side of the ball started playing well and the other one was kind of hanging his head. You know, so those are the things to me that are coachable moments mm -hmm. that you look forward, you know, look for that you can help these guys out with in the future. Pennell's kind of consistently been a playmaker. He's, He's been good, playing, right? you know. Um, those guys are coming along. I think Rome actually is another kid that's coming along back there that's been practicing. What did you see on the interception? Uh, oh, he was looking at me the whole way. I knew it was coming the whole time. Like, actually, he looked at me probably like three times while he was calling the cadence. So I just kind of slid outside. I kind of, I kind of knew what he was going to do. So as soon as he hiked the ball, I just jumped the route, and I knew right when I caught it, I was going to the house. How are you feeling overall with your offense? I mean, it didn't look like anybody necessarily ran the ball. And no, well, I think we got a long way to go. I think we got a long way to go with our attitude. I think we got a long way to go with who we are going to be. And that's what we keep challenging. What are we going to be? Who are we going to be? And um, we haven't got that identity yet. I know what I want, and we're a long way away from what I want. Yes. And what's that? Tough, physical, being able to pound it. We get the ball on the three-yard line, we're going to pound it in. You know, I mean, that's, that's how you do it. That's what you do. And uh, we don't have that mentality right now, and we need to get it. Anybody else got kind of stand out that you noticed today? Um, again, I thought Colin, you know, did some good things. Um, again, when you make big plays on defense, and you know, then it stands out. But um, I just like the energy on defense. I mean, there's a lot of more energy. But again, when you make plays, that energy, you know, starts to happen. But good teams don't have to wait until something happens to have that energy. And, and that's what I'm talking about, what we have to continue to get to. We don't have to, you know, you create those things. You can't wait for a good play to happen for you to now want to play. You got to want to do that all the time. And those are the little things we got to continue to work on. Talk about Hank. Giving him a you know, that's awesome. Um, you know, Hank's been around here for forever uh, you can see the respect that the kids you know have for him with with the applause that they gave him and, and you know when you have guys like that with their dedication and commitment it doesn't matter you know we got fair weather people but he is true and true a golden flash um, and like i said it ain't just football and he's at every event supporting our student athletes to the team true golden flash right there do you remember Oh, yeah. You were playing? Oh, heck. Yeah, yeah, I remember it. Doing the same thing, pacing around, walking around. Um, so he was one of the first persons that I saw that I recognized, I think, when I went to one of the basketball games and I saw him. You know, and again, he's he's on Prince and Madonna status. He's that one where he's Hank. I've always tried to do anything I can, but uh, I've always gotten way more than I back from the team. <laughs> this is one of the things that it just uh, super. <laughs> Hard to say in words. I really do appreciate it. Uh, really a surprise.